One of the biggest complaints of Canadians and indeed people around the world has been during the pandemic is that different doctors and different governments give different advice from day to day. For the good of your health, press PayPal. Keep us on the air because we are talking about the real thing of talking about vaccines. Now the issue is vaccine passports. Roman Baber is an independent member of Parliament in Ontario. He joins me right now because you know the passports, I mean, that's real official, but I hear the argument that someone says, if you're going to be in a crowded bus, or if you're going to be on a plane or train, you want to know that everybody has been vaccinated. It seems fair that you don't want someone coughing in your face if they haven't been vaccinated. What do you say about that? Stephen, first of all, um, it's clear that the vaccine that the vaccine is showing significant efficacy. Right. Uh, both in terms of hospitalization and reduction of deaths. Right. So that's great news. Yeah. But we have always believed in my body, my choice, and informed consent. And so... Yes, your body, your choice for women and, and indeed for men, as long as you're not impacting another person. So if your body, your choice means that you are infected or could be infected, and it's so highly volatile, you're infecting others, then there's a greater good, isn't there? So uh, because of the risk of contraction, uh, for those that are worried and are in a group that believes that they should be vaccinated, uh, I encourage vaccination very much. You and I made the choice to be vaccinated, and that is our choice. And we are now afforded protection from the virus. Right. Very, uh, with much efficacy. No, no guarantees, but there's protection. Right. Absolutely. So uh, if, if folks are worried about unvaccinated folks, then those folks should go out and get vaccinated. That's the very best advice. However, we have never imposed segregation on Canadians, and COVID is no reason to start. We have already known, even before vaccination, that the risk of COVID at large is not as significant as we thought in April and, and March of 2020. True. Now... We, we know that it generally affects select demographics and uh, particularly folks in congregate settings. Now, with the further protection of vaccination, uh, we cannot make out the case for segregation. If you're at a baseball game, you're at a football game, should there be a place in the stand for people who are not vaccinated? Should there be a line for those who are not vaccinated? Should there be a prohibition on, on busy buses? If you're not vaccinated, you wait for another bus. Stephen, we are the highest vaccinated nation on earth. Right. Uh, and the goal has never been absolute uh, vaccination immunity. Right. The goal has been herd immunity. Most epidemiologists agree that herd immunity re is reached around the 70% mark. And in fact, that's what public health told us from the beginning. Uh, then it moved to 75, then it moved to 80. Last week it moved to 90. Um, I think that's cautiously optimistic. So hopefully we don't have to answer that question. Roman, thank you very much. Three minutes. Justin Trudeau is traversing the country on a government jet, handing out your money for all kinds of projects. I'm sure they're all extraordinarily worthy. Why now? He wants your vote. He is trying to buy a bigger liberal majority next time around. So as we are one of the few news services which are not paid for by the government and by Justin, please support us. And thanks for watching.